Appalachian music encompasses several different genres. It's, of course, a blend of several things. Uh, Scots-Irish people brought a lot of music with them. German culture has some influence, too. Old-time music is a term that goes way back, actually, to the earliest recordings. It comes uh, with a certain set of musical instruments. There's usually always a guitar, a banjo, a fiddle, a mandolin, and a bass. A lot of people know what bluegrass music is. It's a little more modern. You could say it grew out of old-time music in the uh, late 1940s. Some people say it's old-time music in overdrive. People who arrived on the frontier, whether they came from Northern Ireland or North Britain or Germany, the early 1750s, uh, they brought with them cultures. And now people who live here consider themselves Appalachians. It's both dialect and music and customs and traditions and uh, folkways of all kinds uh, have a particular Appalachian sensibility to them. I think that there's a real pride in, in what the people of Appalachia have made together, and traditional music is a big part of that. And the music specifically is it's something that everybody kind of identifies with, I think, in Appalachia, even if they don't play it. It played an important function for hundreds of years, really. Playing music, singing, playing an instrument, or dancing, they were ways of taking your mind off your troubles and getting some respite from the work you've been doing, and also uh, building communities. Like, when I was in high school, we would do jam sessions at the library, and there you could walk in any Tuesday nights or something, and there'd be like 20, 25 kids filled the library. And we all were playing old time, we all knew the same set of songs. I, I grew up in a, in a musical family. Uh, everybody on my mom's side of the family played music or sang, and they were always people coming to our house to hook up their amplifiers or, you know, get out their guitars and whatever, and they'd sing and play till daylight a lot of times. And a lot of people would, uh, they'd just meet at their houses and move the furniture back and, and dance in the living room and, like I say, roll up the rug, you know, and that kind of thing. And so a lot of that used to go on too. And, and that still goes on in our family. The sort of earliest culture that arrived here in that period has really maintained those old traditions. Old time music, you can hear fiddle tunes that have been played pretty much the same way for a couple of hundred years. After the Western, Western Ireland, country Galway, I came back to America in 1972 with when I was growing up. Nearly every house back there has, has an accordion or a fiddle or a banjo or or harmonicas. And lots of the tunes of the old time music and the bluegrass, you, you hear the Scottish reels, the Scottish jigs, or the Irish reels and the Irish jigs. I can nearly tell where that came from. And over the years, hundreds of years, they have changed because there was no recording, so it's handed down from generation to generation. So they changed a bit, but the root is there. It's a strong sense of place and that even shows up in the music. We have tunes here that celebrate mountains and creeks and rivers. Celtic songs and like Civil War songs and... The old log cabin and, and then the real gruesome ones about murder and, and things like that. One of the biggest reasons for old time music to exist was for dancing. It's dan a lot of it is dance music. And people will call what we do here mountain square dancing. It's, people are starting to realize that old time traditional square dancing, and that it's a lot of fun. Another thing is square dancing, yeah. When you start playing for square dances, it's like one of the best feelings ever, like watching people dance to your rhythm. It's, it's amazing. This music, you never really meet a person with a negativity. It's kind of like a big family. There's a special bond that you get when you sit around and jam and play. Everybody's really nice to you. I'm just attracted to any music that feels like it's full of heart, and that's absolutely what the music of this region is. This region has hard times. We've sort of been going through economic transition, but the music has stuck with us through it all. 